Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to War Thunder with yours truly WBE886. Now today we're going to be flying out the Hulka Hurricane Mark 1 in realistic battles on Korea. Um, I feel I've been neglecting the lower ranks in the British tech tree lately and uh, I, I kind of forgot how much fun they are. So I decided to take the Hawker Hurricane out because the Hawker Hurricane it's a very good tier 1 plane. It really is. Um, I mean, it's its only armed with um, 7.62s. But, it does ha hold a lot of ammunition for those 7.62s. And they've got quite a high fire rate. I mean, they're no Russian 7.62s. But, uh, they're definitely... They are definitely worth getting the aircraft if you're brand new to the game. I would go down the British line just so you get this plane and see how you like it. If you don't like it, go down to a different line. But yeah, I mean, we're flying it in realistic battles today. This is actually a rather short video because I need to get as many out as I possibly can. Um, this was kind of like a game that I wasn't expecting to go as well as it did. It was kind of like really boring for the first part, but when I started spotting targets, that's when it all went off. Uh, and there was quite a big dogfight, you'll see, and it's like, it did kind of take a lot a lot of brain power to try and remember where the enemy was, where he predicted he was going to go next. It was really good. Um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed this match, like, a lot. Um, I also enjoyed the one with the Spitfire that will be coming up soon a lot as well. Um, You'll see what that what I mean by that when it comes out. But yeah, I mean the Hawker Hurricane is a terrific little plane, and I recommend you get it. Now, yeah, we um last week we hit 2,500 subscribers, guys. Um, again, thank you to everyone that supported me. It's uh, greatly appreciated. But I want to kind of try. A f I want to try and bring back one of my old series. Um, I want for people that. A new round here like the people that haven't been with my channel for ages um, basically I used to be actually quite big at uh, a big DayZ guy and uh, I kind of stopped because I got annoyed with the game um, I got I got tired of just it was tiring editing the whole time so what I did is I, t I gave a break but I'm ready to go back into it um, I'll probably be playing see if I can get a hold of um, one of my friends buys HG or buys whatever you want to call him. Um, I want to try and see if I can get a hold of some playing time with him at some point. Uh, if you don't know who he is, absolutely brilliant Daisy guy. Go check him out in the link in the description below. Really awesome. Very, very funny. I know some of you guys watch him as well. Uh, I'll try and he help a few other people. But uh, I, I really want to get back into Daisy. I really do. Um... Even if it's not the standalone, even if it's the mod, because you know there's so much more you can do in the mod than you can in the in the standalone. Um, I feel that I I will definitely go back to Daisy at some some point. But it's been coming to the end of this video. It's kind of a short one. I do apologise, but as I said, I'm trying to get as much content out as I possibly can for the week so that you actually have some entertainment. Um, it's it is a pain in pain in the uh, pain in the ass, but what can you do? But yeah, I mean, I, w I definitely want to do Daisy. If you want that, put it in the uh, d comment section below. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you click that like button below. Um, subscribe if you're new around here for more War Thunder. This isn't my usual length. I normally do longer. But anyway, guys, I mean, uh, it's just been a brilliant time. P past few months, and I can't thank you enough. Um, I just hope that we can eventually... Get, get somewhere with this channel. I mean, we are. I've got the support from the whole community and I absolutely love that. Anyway, guys, take care. I'll see you next time.